Hi, I'm Gauri Gupta. There comes a time in everyone's life when they think about the nature of self and the place of self in the vastness of the universe. Children, with their innate curiosity, begin questioning the world around them. They start asking profound questions such as, what is life? Or why do the sun, moon and stars move around us? Yet, as we grow older, this curiosity wanes. To quote Carl Sagan, something terrible has happened between kindergarten and the 12th grade. But why does this happen? Today, I will argue that the lack of philosophical discourse in the school curriculum is hindering the natural curiosity of young minds. Now, firstly, the disconnect between physics and philosophy. While physics, physics can offer answers to questions children ask, the prevailing approach to teaching physics in schools is just teaching the required material without having a dialogue in the class. Teachers rarely ask open-ended questions and there's an element of accepting what is taught at face value before moving quickly onto the next topic in the curriculum. This approach stands in direct opposition to the very essence of philosophy. Now we've been talking about philosophy, but what exactly is philosophy and why should we in include it in our educational system? To put it simply, philosophy is about thinking. It is an act of engaging in deep contemplation and critical inquiry. I contend that this thinking, this very philosophical approach, is sorely lacking not only in physics education, but in the wider physics and education community. Now, secondly, the ancient union and the modern divide of philosophy and the natural world. In ancient Greece, there was no separation between the study of philosophy and the study of the natural world. Natural philosophy, as the discipline was called, was the harmonious intertwining of physics and philosophy in order to understand reality. However, over time, a distinction between philosophy and physics emerged. While both disciplines aim to understand reality, their approaches have diverged. Philosophy deals with more abstract concepts such as existence, reality, knowledge, and it relies on logic and critical thinking. Physics, however, on the other hand, constructs mathematical models based on empirical evidence. This divide has led to some popular physicists to proclaim that philosophy is no longer necessary and has led to the quiet removal of philosophical discourse from academic physics. However, to truly uncover the mysteries of reality, physics needs the assistance of philosophy. In ancient Greece, philosoph philosophers like Thales speculated on the existence of fundamental elements such as air, water, and the earth, which gave the basis for our current understanding of elements. Ancient Greek philosopher Democritus and the ancient Indian philosopher Kannad proposed the idea of an invisible unit of matter, which gave the basis for the concept of the atom. Plato wondered about the world beyond our reality. However, his student Aristotle thought there was no world beyond our own. These ancient philosophers used reasoning, observation, and dialogue to navigate their way around the natural world. Their methods form the basis for today's scientific method. Now we'll take the case of time and relativity. Consider Einstein's theory of relativity, which revolutionized our understanding of time. Prior to Einstein, the classical assumption was that time runs uniformly regardless of one's reference frame. However, Einstein's work showed that time, time runs slowly for a moving person. This revelation has profound implications for reality. One such implication is the idea that the past, present, and future already exist in what is known as a block universe. This, however, is in contrast to theories like presentism that posits that only the now exists and the growing block universe which states that the past and present exist, but not the future. Which type of universe we actually live in has huge consequences for physics. The possibility of time travel is compatible with block universes, but not with presentism. With a topic as counterintuitive as Einstein's relativity, where our intuitions may actually lead us astray, 
open-minded and rigorous philosophical inquiry is needed to help guide us in choosing the correct theory of time. Now we'll talk about quantum mechanics and beyond. The implications of quantum mechanics further emphasize the need for philosophy. Concepts such as parallel universes, free will, and the nature of probabilities come to the forefront. Without philosophy, making sense of these profound phenomena becomes an arduous task. Interestingly, the founders of quantum mechanics, such as Niels Bohr, found inspiration in Eastern philosophy. Contemporary phys physicists, such as Carlo Rovelli, draw upon Buddhist philosophy to navigate through their theories. His view of time aligns with the Buddhist notion of impermanence, which emphasizes the ever-changing nature of all things. Now, the need for philosophy in physics. What, what we do in physics is just propose a model for a physical phenomena and test it in the real world. If the model agrees with the observation, we accept the model. If the model fails to give us an explanation, we either discard it or we modify it. This means that we can never truly find the ultimate truth behind the universe. For example, even though that we say in quantum mechanics an object is both a particle and a wave, the exact description of the object is more abstract and is hidden in mathematical details. The need for philosophy becomes evident as it aids in interpreting philosophical implications of models, it acknowledges the limits of knowledge and fosters a deeper appreciation for the abstract nature of reality. To reignite curiosity and foster critical thinking, we must encourage children to engage in philosophical discourse alongside their peers. Instead of simply presenting facts such as the earth is round or, and it revolves around the sun, we should urge children to explore the reasons behind the scientific truths using the Socratic method. By intertwining philosophy and physics, we equip young minds with the skills to question the nature of reality and overcome limitations imposed by scientific dogma. Encouraging critical thinking helps to guard us against such dogma and in a world of ever increasing misinformation from unreliable sources, it is important that than ever to nurture curious questioning in independent minds. By integrating philosophy into physics education, we bridge the gap between the natural world and our capacity for critical thinking. Embracing philosophical discourse empowers the next generation to become curious, engaged thinkers who fearlessly navigate the frontiers of physics and philosophy. Let us embrace philosophy in the classroom, cultivating a curiosity-driven mindset and equipping young minds with the tools to ask profound questions and explore the mysteries of the universe. In the words of Einstein, imagination is more important than knowledge.